another one of those happy sad days as we have to say goodbye to the jackals. Our new arrivals at the animal hospital um, are eight cattle egrets. He is a feisty little one month old warthog. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shamwari TV. Today is another one of those happy sad days as we have to say goodbye to the jackals. I can't believe it has been six months since they originally came to us. Just as tiny little pups and uh, now to think that they're fully grown animals able to be released back into the wild. A really an awesome thing to have been able to achieve. So we had the two of them in the beginning, the Wiggles and Bear and they did so well together. They progressed from the hospital. We moved them up to another enclosure here at the animal hospital where their natural instincts kicked in, where they became wilder. I also distanced myself from them a bit just so that we could have that um, separation of human contact. Boys. Fortunately and unfortunately, one night Riggles managed to escape from the enclosure. As much as the enclosure is a jackal-proof enclosure, Riggles managed to get out. And this is not all such a bad thing because it just shows that they are ready to be released and they are closer to six months now, which is perfect timing. He is on a piece of land that um, is predator free, so he is in safe hands and we have fortunately seen him from time to time, so we do know that he is okay. But today we are taking Bear to a place on the reserve. We try and release our animals next to a water source just so that they do know where to get, find water. We're taking him to a place where we can release him, where we know the lions aren't around either. And yeah, hopefully he can have a happy life in the bush. Sorry, lovey. It's okay, mate. All right, let's get going. Love you lads, have a good life. So I think that went quite well. It's obviously very important to, to make sure that we always release our animals where they know they can get water, uh, which is why we always like to do it around a water source. So I'm sure he'll, he won't go too far now. He'll probably go into the bushes, but yay, he's back in the wild where he comes from. So our new arrivals at the animal hospital um, are eight cattle egrets. Unfortunately, somebody cut down a tree with their nest in it and there were all these babies and this lady kindly took on eight of them. As you can hear, they're very noisy <laughs> and raised them for the last three weeks and gave them to us five days ago. So yeah, we're busy feeding them four times a day. They get a, a mixture of this mince and pronutro and we put a bit of pawpaw in it. And yeah, I've found the best technique, especially for these two, is I've chopped off the, the lid of a 10 mil syringe, and I shove this full of, of the, the mixture, and then I come in at the top of the birds, like their mom and dad would to feed them. And they open up for me and I squirt it down. And it seems to work quite well. Are you hungry? Yeah. This goes very quickly. <laughs> okay, good job. One, two, good job. The reason why we're only feeding these two by the syringe is four of them are actually a lot bigger and so have fortunately started to eat by themselves. 
So there's eight in total, but these two are the youngest. But I'm really chuffed with the way that they're eating. It's great, you know, you don't have to, to shove the food down their throats. They just take it and swallow it on their own. The, the biggest challenge, obviously, is trying to mimic what they eat in the wild versus what we can feed them. So generally in the wild, you'll find these, the reason why they're called cattle egrets is you generally find them with cattle and they go around and they eat the insects as the cattle walk in the grass. In the wild on game reserves, you would often find these cattle egrets with buffalo and sometimes also with rhino. We don't have too many here at Shamari, so it's gonna be really awesome to be releasing these eight um, and just to increase our population here on the reserve. So yeah, from a feeding point of view, mints is really the only thing that we can give them that is similar to insects at the moment. They seem to be coping really well in it and hopefully we can get them onto their natural diet as soon as possible. They are different stages of development, the, um, the eight of them. So four of them are slightly older and the other four are slightly younger. So the, the older four, we don't need to force feed, but the younger four do need to force feed. So what we did in the beginning was we sent the four older ones up to the rehab center straight away. And they were very happy to be out in, out in the open and in a bigger enclosure. And the younger four we kept at the animal hospital just to, just to make sure that they can eat by themselves before we took them up to WRC. So they are now up at the rehab center as they have progressed and they're able to eat by themselves and hopefully we'll be able to release them onto the reserve soon. Hey. So this is Sally. Um, she, she is a feisty little one month old warthog. Just wait my lovey, I'll get your milk for you now. Hey. Um, she was rescued by an old man on a farm close by to Shamori. And yeah, we've had her for a couple of days now. And as you can see, she drinks really well. <laughs> Very messy eater. It's all right, Lori. Hey. hey, my girlie. Okay, there we go. Hey. So yeah, she's on a bottle four times a day and likes her per neutro for, for dinner. Uh, she is quite a fussy little eater and only eats at night time. But I know as she gets older, she will be, will be eating more. Yeah, it's great that she's all feisty and wild, because that's how we want her. And you're yeah, quite a messy eater, as you can see. Hey, my girlie. But she'll just be here at the animal hospital for probably another week or so, and then we'll send her up to the main rehab centre. Unfortunately, the drought is still persisting and we've received another baby hippo into the rehab center. Wilson joined the, the little pod of hippos that we have at the rehab center about three weeks ago now. It was a bit of a challenging introduction and we were a bit worried that Moses and Mvubu wouldn't accept him. But after two weeks of them being together, he finally settled in and is drinking his milk really nicely. It's not such a bad thing because hippos in the wild are generally in pods so we're hoping that this bond that they formed here in the rehab center once we release them they'll stick together on the reserve. Hello everyone I'm vet nurse Megan from Shamwari Private Game Reserve. Thank you for watching another episode of Shamwari TV with us. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and follow us for some more amazing episodes.